here <coughs> and this is going to be a tutorial on how to create a emblem, YouTube emblem, how to say, for a YouTube page using Cinema 4D. This is a very basic tutorial and uh, uh, let's get started. So the square here, you hold it and you go to plane. Click that. When you go over here at width, you put like five or six nines, doesn't matter. So it covers the whole area. And when you're here, you go down to P, and then you click, and then you put in 90, 90 degrees. Apply. So when you, so you got this. Next thing is MoGraph text object. Pull that out. Move that in, and then you can type in whatever you want. You can put FX. Just, just for show. And then I'm gonna get. A, a font, any font will do. If you want to know, I'll do this Beatles font. Alright, if you want to know how to get extra fonts, I will post a video on that right after this video. Alright, so let me move this over. Okay, next thing when you got that, you go to caps, fill it cap, fill it cap for both. And when you're here, you click 4, 4, 4, 4. For these 4, you just put 4. And you go to... Then you click done. And that's it. And then next, you go down here, click file, new material, new material, new material. You need three of these. First off, open up the first one, choose the color. I'm going to put black and red. Okay, so black, and you go to reflection, and then over here, put zero, and put this back on, zero, and then in texture, you put Fresnel, and then there you go, done that one. Next one, open up, reflection, Fresnel, zero, and then red. We got a red. So it's like the same thing, but just different colors. Next one is your background. All right. This is your background. Let's put it gray. You don't need a reflection on it. Drag it in. You drag these two onto the text. And then you go to the red, and then where it says selection, put R1, and click somewhere, and there you go. Look at that. Let me change the font. If you want this font, I'll give you a link in the description bar. Alright. So you got this. Next thing you gotta do, let me zoom out. Alright, you got this. You click add light. Here's add a light. And then you drag this out all the way. That's pretty good. You can lift it up a little bit. I'm gonna move this over more so it's like right in the middle there. And move the light over too. Alright. So now that you got that, you go to the light, and you go to shadow, shadow maps soft. And then you click on this, and that's what it will look like. See, so it looks pretty nice. But we're not done yet. Next thing we can do is add another light. I usually like to put mine below, under, put it right there, and at visible light, put volumetric, and grab this circle, square, whatever, make it smaller like this, and then you can change the color to whatever 
you want. Let's put it as red, and then you click on this. And look, now you got that red light right there. Looks pretty nice, eh? So. I forgot what I was going to do next, so I'll be right back as I figure this out. Alright guys, uh, I remember again. Alright, so if you want to save this, you got to uh, zoom it in, right? So you got to zoom in. It's to zoom it in pretty close. Put it like this. It's even in really, 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 really close. Like that. So when you click on it, you got the light coming up, looking nice and everything like that. Actually, I'm going to move that light. I'm going to move it over here. Now let's test this out. So the light's in the corner now. Let's move it more in the corner. Alright, now that's better. Okay, so when you want to save it, you click on this. It's like the window with the, yeah, you go to output width 100, height 100, resolution, I believe it's 280, um, if I do, if I make this wrong, I'll put an annotation, I just, I just believe it's 280, and then it's on pixels, remember that, pixels, the next is save, and what you gotta do, you gotta save it to JPEG, Unless you want to put it onto uh, Photoshop, then you put TIFF PSD layers. And then you can put it on Photoshop and do more to it. But I'm going to put it on JPEG. And you go to Options, and you go to Quality, 100. Okay. And then you go to Format, File, Save As, whatever, and save it to wherever you want. And save it to the Desktop. Click Save. And you're done. Now let me uh, open this up for you. Gotta find it. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not done yet. When you're done with that, you'll see boxes here, right? Boxes. You know what these boxes you. These boxes are your guidelines to tell you where the picture is starting and ending, right? You can zoom it in even more, even more, even more, just like that. So I'm going to zoom in right to here. Then you click here. And then there you go. That's what your picture's going to look like. This is mine. This is what that one's going to look like. When you're done with that, you click File, Save As, Still Image, and click OK. And then, and then you save it. And it might say Replace, just replace it. And then it will actually show up onto the desktop. So uh, let me open this up for you. Just gonna let it open up. Then with all right, there we go. I'm sorry if the screen's all fucked up. I'm not sure how to use this properly. But that's what it will look like. It's pretty interesting. So um, that's basically it. Thank you for watching, and I'm also very sorry if the sound is off. Sorry about that, but and I might try to do an intro, and I will do a tutorial on that. Just make sure you um, check out my other channel, which is Bloodthirst Cinemas. It's me and my uh, two friends, and uh, it's just like a, a gaming cinema channel. And uh, if you want more details, go to there and talk to them. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you. Uh, comment like if there's anything else I can do to improve this or if this helped you or whatever and tell your friends about it if they need it and everything and if you need me to do it just send me a message and I will and I will try uh, thank you for watching this goodbye